In this video, I'll go over setting up TailScale outbound connections on a Synology NAS running DSM-7. With outbound connections enabled, you'll be able to use TailScale along with applications like HyperBackup and Snapshot Replication to backup files between Synology NASes. I'll demonstrate how I use TailScale to replicate snapshots between Synology NASes a little later in the video. Note that outbound connections need to be enabled only on DSM-7 or above, as I mentioned earlier. If you are still running DSM-6, TailScale runs as root and outbound connections works fine. Whereas DSM-7 has tighter restrictions and only inbound connections are allowed to your Synology NAS by default. However, to make use of the backup applications I mentioned earlier, you'll need both inbound and outbound connections between the NASs. I'll link to TailScale's Synology NAS webpage, specifically to the Outbound Connection section in the description below if you would like to read more about this specific setup. Let's get to the configuration, and the first thing to do is make sure to install TailScale on both Synology NASs by bringing up the Package Center, then search for and install TailScale. Once TailScale is installed, I'll open the package and log in to my TailScale account. At this point, the NAS is connected to my TailScale network, so I'll close the TailScale console window. Next, I'll bring up Control Panel, then Terminal and SNMP, and enable the SSH service because we'll need to use the command line to complete the next few steps. Now I'll SSH into one of my Synology NASes that I'd like to set up with TailScale outbound connections. Note that I'll do the same steps on the second Synology NAS because both ends require outbound connections when using Synology's snapshot replication. Once connected, I'll issue this command to set the cap underscore net underscore admin option to the TailScale binary. Then I'll issue these commands, which I'll include in the description below, that creates and sets the permissions for a network tunneling device that is needed for this setup. I'll then head over to DSM once again, bring up the TailScale package, stop the service, then start it back up to implement the changes made from the command line. Now I'll switch back to the SSH connection to my Synology NAS, and I should be able to ping another TailScale device on my network, which seems to be working fine. At this point, the TailScale outbound connection is up and running. However, when the Synology NAS is rebooted, the outbound connection won't start up automatically. TailScale's instructions seem to indicate that the only thing that needs to be done is create a scheduled task from within DSM and run this command here, but in my testing, that wasn't the case. I did some research and found a TailScale forum post and issue on the TailScale GitHub page that helped me come up with this startup script that seems to be working fine in my setup. The script will basically run on boot, waits for one minute to let the Synology NAS boot process complete before running, then execute a couple of commands we ran earlier and lastly, restart the TailScale service. Note that I created a scripts shared folder where I save the script, and I'll leave a copy of the commands in the description below if you would like to copy and paste them into a script in your setup. The final setup step is to run the script on boot, so I'll bring up DSM once again, then open up Task Scheduler from the control panel. Here, I'll create a new triggered task and fill out the information needed on this Create Task window. I'll give the task a name, change the user to root, switch over to the Task Settings screen, and enter in the full path of the script that was created earlier. I'll then click OK and OK once again on this running pop-up window, then restart my Synology NAS to make sure the script runs properly. Now, after the Synology NAS is done rebooting, I'll wait a minute or so for the script to run. Then I'll bring up the terminal session once again, SSH back into my Synology NAS, and I'll ping another TailScale device 
which looks to be working fine. Now I'm all set with the Tailscale outbound connection working properly after a reboot. At this point, I can start using the Tailscale outbound connections between my two Synology NASes, which are in two separate locations for backup tasks. As an example, I'll be setting up a remote replication task from my main Synology NAS to my backup Synology NAS using the snapshot replication package, which I'll launch from the main menu. I'll select replication, then click create, which brings up this create replication task window. I'll click start and on this select the location and network type for the destination window, I'll leave remote selected and click next. On this window, I'll enter in the tail scale IP address of the remote Synology NAS and log in with the administrator, username, and password I'd like to use. I'll then click on advanced settings, switch to the source server, and enter in the tail scale IP address of the local Synology NAS. I'll then click OK and Next on this window here. I have two-factor authentication enabled on the remote Synology NAS, so I'll enter in the six-digit verification code, then click OK. I'll click Next on this Select Destination Volume window. Then from this Select Data to Replicate window, I'll select the Docker Shared folder, then click Next once again. I'd like to have a daily replication take place, so I'll set the time, then click Next. I won't change anything on this Set Retention Policy for Destination and Advanced Settings windows, so I'll click Next on both. I'll then click Done on this Confirm Settings window, then OK on this window confirming that the replication task was created successfully. Now we can see that the replication task is starting up, and I can also confirm that it finished up properly as well. To learn more about snapshot replication and tail scale, check out this video and playlist listed here on screen. Also, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.